It's been a while since I've been in the garage, but now it's time to start with the Elvito project again. Uh, I started this project some years ago, but I got stuck because uh, I have not uh, the skill set for all this electronics. But uh, I've built this uh, more easy plug-in project with uh, color controls and, uh, and uh, BMS, who is almost plug and play. So uh, I think I've been uh, learning a lot and now it's time to start up this uh, Elvito project again. Uh, I've done a lot of work before and uh, now it's time to fit all the battery modules and uh, try to fit the, uh, the proper BMS and also fix the charging and get the motor running. So uh, I will start with uh, connect all the batteries and the BMS system. I bought uh, uh, BMS system from uh, EV TV some years ago, but uh, that uh, system is more to to uh, solar battery storage at home. So I don't think I will use that one. I'll be looking at this uh, SIMP BMS, and I will try to figure out how they work and see if I can maybe use some parts like, like the contactors and and the uh, stuff from the uh, EV TV solar BMS system. To connect the batteries together I will be using this uh, original bush bars from Tesla, the Tesla pack. And I will be using 12 modules. So I will be using this uh, for the each row and then I will have two on top here. So it will be two rows with five battery modules and then another two here in the front underneath the seating. And then there I will have to make some new wiring. Here I got some washers to, to fit the, the batteries. And uh, that's what I start with to, to get this first row bolted. Yes, I uh, made some spaces here out of tube so I get the correct height from the support. I'm going to put this here so I have support to uh, the next level of batteries. And uh, these uh, bolts are wash nylock. So uh, there's a lot of work here to get this in position. Here you can see more in detail. You have this uh, squared washer and then you have this uh, spacer and the nylock motor. motor I don't know. And uh, I made some error here, so I have to make this uh, al aluminum plate to get its uh, correct height from the top of this battery to the bottom to the next. I made some error when I calculated how to construct this. But, uh, yeah, so now I have these. Uh, these are from the Tesla battery pack, and they were supports into the pack, and I will use them. It's the same thing here. So I will put it here, and now it will support uh, the next level of batteries. Here we can see the the plumbing system for uh, the modules. And my idea is to use them as they are because I have the batteries in the same distance. Uh, so I will try to use my air heater and see if I can get this uh, plastic hose off. And then I maybe can use an ordinary rubber hose with uh, so I can get this together. Managed to get this plastic hose off. And as you can see here, it's quite handy because I can just put a, a, a hose, rubber hose here, so I can uh, bend and get to the second layer. So this was where I think it will work very good. I have 
to uh, fit that large bar before I put the second layer of batteries because otherwise I would have problems reaching the bolts. And I'm using rubber gloves so I don't get uh, exposed to high voltage. Here you can see the original bush bars and also these uh, protect protection that fits on the, the bolt. Looks nice. Now I secure the modules with these aluminum bars and I also put these nylock nuts in place. The two remaining modules is also in place underneath the seating and now I started to uh, think about this security switch. I have uh, mounted the module so I will have a uh, uh, start there with this uh, bush bars and then I get to to these on top I will have a connection from that end to that end from that bottom end from the under underlying modules to this one on top and then a uh, serial connection and from that connection point I will put this security switch so I can have it here between the seats and then I will continue to this place fitting place where I start the, the serial connection and it goes all the way down to the end there and then I will have uh, approximately 300 uh, volts Yes, I will connect the wire from that one down there, up here, and then continue on the serial connection. Here I must uh, add some, uh, I, I didn't have any more bush bars, so I must add uh, some uh, orange tape here, so I have this right color for the wires. And here is uh, a 50 millimeter square inch wire from the... The pack that I will use, so I will remove this. Uh, must be some kind of protection. Yeah, I made this wire, and now I will fit it. But uh, <clears throat> just for safety reasons, when you connect one of the ends, you must have protection so you don't shortcut it. So I put some uh, isolation tape on the other end. I better put on my rubber gloves. Figure this out without any mistakes, this should not make any flashes, and it didn't. Well, quite good, I think. Yeah, 
Here you can see the module down there, the end, end of the five and the bottom, and here we have the other connection on top. So now I will make a connection from that one to my security switch, and then down to the module in the other end. Well, now I've connected the security switch, also uh, isolated these uh, connections with uh, this uh, electrical tape, isolation tape. And hopefully I've um, figured out the right way to connect these. So I will connect the last high voltage wire and then the whole pack is to be uh, Connected. These are papers we set between the, the models in uh, the Tesla battery pack, so I'm reusing them. I hope they are some kind of isolation and also maybe protection if there will be a fire. switch nothing will happen nothing did happen great now when the whole pack is connected with bush bars and these wires in the front I can check the voltage and also the plus and minus side if I done that this right I will have approximately 300 volts Yeah. Or no, 250 volts. And uh, the plus side should be here and the minus here. And I have 200, 271 volts. And the plus was <laughs> on the other side. Yeah. 271 volts. Minus side here and the plus side is down there. Great. Well, I think that was the first episode in this uh, startup of the Tesla. Uh, next episode I will start wiring the BMS. I bought this Simp BMS from EV Europe and uh, also got the connectors and uh, I will and also this little LCD display. So I will try to connect that one make this EUC chain connection, daisy chain, daisy chain connection. And then I see if I can get any readings on this small LCD display. And maybe also if I can see if I can get my charger running. 
Well, this is for now. Hope to see you again. Bye bye.